Welcome to this video on Sanction Subjects Screening. In this video, we are going to be talking about what Sanction Subjects Screening is, why it is important and what an investigator should look for when performing this task. So let's jump right into today's video. What is Sanction Subjects Screening? In short, it's the process of checking a person's name or a company name against a list of sanctioned individuals and entities to ensure that they're not on that list. This is an important aspect of sanction screening because individuals and entities that are on a sanctions list are typically subject to economic and trade restrictions, which means that conducting transactions with them is illegal. Sanction subject screening is commonly used in the financial industry where it is used to prevent illegal transactions in line with regulatory compliance and uh, other financial crime related requirements. For example, when a financial institution is looking to open a new account for a customer, it will typically run the customer's name through a sanctions list to make sure that they are not on the list. This helps the financial institution comply with the law and avoid potentially costly penalties. Sanction subject screening is also important for businesses that are looking to do business with foreign entities. Before entering into a contract with a foreign entity, a company will typically check the entity's name against a sanctions list to ensure that they are not on the list. This helps the company to avoid engaging in illegal activities and protect against reputational damages as well. Now that we've seen some examples of sanction subject screening in action, let's talk about what an investigator should look for when performing these tasks. But before we do that, if you're finding interesting the content from this video, remember to subscribe to my channel FinCrime Agent and press the thumb up to help this video spread more on YouTube. So thank you for doing that. First and foremost, the investigator should have access to the most up-to-date sanctions list as this can change very frequently. Investigators should also be familiar with the various rules and regulations governing sanctions and how to interpret those ones. When conducting a sanction subject screening, the investigators should carefully compare the name they are checking against the names on the sanction list paying also attention to any variation or spelling differences. This process is often known as applying fuzzy matching to the original name, which of course can be done using sanction screening tools. It's also important to check any aliases or known associates of the individual or the entity as they may be on the sanctions list under a different name. In addition, for a full sanction subject screening, the investigator should be on the lookout for any red flags that may indicate recent news or development related to sanctions and their potential impact on the individual or entity in question. It's also important for investigators to be thorough and methodical when conducting sanctions name screening. This means taking the time to carefully review all relevant information and not relying solely on automated system or algorithms. In conclusion, sanction subject screening is an important process that helps organizations and individuals comply with the law and avoid engaging in illegal activities. By being thorough and paying attention to potential red flags, investigators can effectively perform the sanction name screening process and protect against potential penalties and reputational damages for their firms. I'm also pleased to let you know that if you want to send a super thanks for the work that I do here on YouTube, you can do that directly from this video. And lastly, thank you for watching this video on sanctioned subject screening. I hope the video was useful to you and until next time, see you soon.